All right, guys, it is Tuesday, and you know what that means, new hot fix. So now we are off 4.0.0.4, and we're just gonna kind of read through this and see kind of what they did, all right? Uh, we're gonna skim through it, throne world, fix networking stuff, blah, 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 third altar, Gambit stuff, I don't care, who cares about Gambit, go away. They fixed Ariana's vow though, so that is good. There you go. Uh, the raid, let's see, fix an issue where an unintentional symbol could appear where one rook attacks met environment geometry. Yep, that happened. Fix an issue where players could earn a lore entry while only standing in front of one of two symbols. Fix an issue where players could shoot any symbol. I missed the easy one, huh? Could shoot any symbol to pass the kill symbol check for the lore entry. Fix an issue. Caretaker mid-white performance. Fix an issue where players could complete the caretaker encounter and the activity would not progress. Wow, that was a thing? That's unfortunate. Fix an issue where the rogue encounter would be soft locked if players spread leeching force as their final deposit occurs. That has happened, yes. Uh, fix it where players could leave raid banners, planting them as many encounters begin. Fix an issue where players could earn multiple lore entries by reloading checkpoints. Good stuff, good stuff. Witch Queen campaign where players could cultivate death in legendary campaign missions by leaving the fire team and rejoining players that join progress now require a revive. Okay. Fix an issue preventing replayable nodes in the Witch Queen campaign from appearing on the throne world map for a small portion of players. Display possible rewards for legendary difficulty for the ghost to include ascendant alloy. Psychops, let's see. Champions were inconsistently spawning in Psychops. All right. Uh, UX, don't care. Investment, economy. All right, let's see what we got here. So, Gambit weapon and armor focused to cost more than expected. There's now 10,000 Glimmer and 50 Legendary Shards each. Rural Destination materials now are sold in for stacks of five for one Legendary Shard. Matching Spider's previous. Didn't they just change this? Hello? Okay. That's why I'm like, am I reading the right one? I get, okay, whatever. Vanguard bounty, the harder they fall, could only be progress and strikes. Fix an issue where the Omega Catalyst boost was rewarding three times progress instead of four. Let's see, legendary campaign emblem, higher truth cannot be equipped. Uh, un unable to unlock or acquire a light subclass should not be able to do so. Players should find the associated pursuit of the inventory when first entering orbit. Fix an issue where Ritual of the Season Triumph could be progressed with PvE kills outside of Vanguard playlist. Fix an issue where Seasonal Quest steps could be blocked if players had reached Iconic Intel. Let's see, given existing reputation bonuses, Platinum, blah, 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 Weapon Crafting, Increased Element Crafting Currency Caps. Okay, so caps are increased, y'all. Good stuff. Good stuff. Fix an issue where the Slider Hand Perk Trait Trait perk had incorrect crafting requirements. All right. Seal for the Moments of Triumph 2021 title could not be equipped. That is fixed. Okay, we're going down now. Gameplay weapons. Fix an issue where the explosive personality grenade launcher was not using the correct RPM stat for wave frames. Ooh. Know that the crafting screen will still display the wrong, which will be fixed in future patch. Okay, will be the correct stat. Fix an issue where the logic ornament for the lament appeared backwards. Huh? How does that work? Fix an issue where the lament and world line zero were not networking their attacks correctly. Bank box would be visible after the hit fire reticle when using Osteo Striga or Forerunner. All glaives now reach full charge after four successful projectile hits instead of six. Fix an issue where the previous reduction of melee recharge rate for Graviton forfeit was erroneously applying in PVE activities. Okay. What does that mean? It was going too fast? I don't know what this word means. <laughs> fix, I'm gonna guess it means too fast. That's what I'm gonna guess it means. Uh, fix an issue where the exotic Titan helmet, Lorely Splendor, would consume class ability energy upon death without spawning a sunspot. Uh, players must first acquire by the Disciple Rate mods before they can be applied to armor. Fix an issue where some armor was not appearing in appearance customization screen even after, yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Some rare armor sets could be infused. Whoa. Focus in Ember Ingram could sometimes give the wrong armor to warlocks. They need the wrong armor anyways, man. They got enough as it is. 
Let's see, abilities. Boss commands no longer take additional melee damage while frozen by stasis. Bastion Barricade now takes 20% increased damage from player sources. Damage stacks with other sources of anti emplacement damage, like the Hockey Breach Armaments, Origin Trait, or Anti Barrier Rounds. Targets with Void Invisibility active now ping the radar for 0.6 seconds every 3 seconds until visibility ends. Uh, feedback on the data, weekend trials. These changes are targeting specifically at PvP and don't affect the PvE sandbox. We believe that some preparation stems from prevalence and will taper off over time. Uh, da, 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 fix an issue where child of the old gods could damage some targets through immunity shields. While the child will not be put on time out, it now knows better and has issued. Ooh, I can't read and had it has issued heartfelt apologies to all targets. We are thankful. Blah blah blah. Fix an issue where some overlays could cause game crash, including MSI afterburner and razor cortex. Okay, so that is the patch. Two things to take away from this. So crafting materials got boosted for their caps. Um, the uh, transmogrification got fixed. So that is huge as well. Um, and then everything everything else was kind of just small. They, well, not really. They increased how much you ping on PVP in your uh, on the radar if you're invisible so that will kind of help pvp out a little bit um fix a whole bunch of stuff in the raid and that's about it man so just a whole bunch of good stuff that they fixed that needed to be fixed but that is going to be this week's hot hot fix man really good really good i'm glad that's going to be it i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day bye bye